it finally came. The announcement we were expecting ever since Raikkonen announced retirement from Formula 1. Valtteri Bottas is all set to take up his next challenge at Alfa Romeo from 2022 onwards. But what does this mean for the future of Alfa Romeo, Bottas and Giovinazzi? It was already clear towards the end of last year that Bottas will not have the Mercedes seat for much longer. Even though it was clear who will replace him at Mercedes, it was not clear what the future will hold for Valtteri in Formula 1. The natural option was a driver swap with Williams whereby Russell can move up to Mercedes and Bottas can take his place in Williams. But Raikkonen's retirement announcement changed everything. With a seat vacant in Alpha, it allowed for a driver swap across multiple teams and also one seat getting vacant at the end of the season for a rookie or a driver in sabbatical for next year. For Fred Vassoa, the Alfa Romeo boss, moving to Alfa Romeo was the right move for Bottas. He has finally moved out of the shadow of the seven-time world champion and he can clearly go into leading the team to new heights. Bottas could clearly have more of an impact at Alfa Romeo than Raikkonen. Raikkonen, after all, moved to Alfa Romeo at the twilight of his career after having become a world champion and having a successful career at Ferrari. Bottas, on the other hand, at the age of 32, still has a lot to prove. His time at Williams was very promising and being a second driver at Mercedes for half a decade kind of crushed his spirits a bit. Alpha could be the correct platform for him to push for excellence again. The objective for Bottas would clearly be to bring Alpha back to midfield where it belongs. With a solid powertrain and backing from Alfa Romeo until 2024, Sauber has everything it needs to push for greater heights. For Bottas, that means to build the team around him, working with engineers to ensure everything from pit stop times to aerodynamics. With a younger teammate alongside him, he could clearly be the one who takes the more senior role and lead Alpha into the future. There are still a lot of unanswered questions here. We are not yet sure who would take up the seat at Williams and who would be the second seat Alfa Romeo. It is very likely that Alfa Romeo would go for a new driver in place of Antonio Giovinazzi next year. It could be Mick Schumacher. It could also be Nick De Vries, fresh from winning his Formula E season. It could also be Alex Alban after his overall good season at DTM. It could also be a young driver from Formula 2 from the Ferrari Academy. Bottas is in Alfa with a long-term contract. But it is crucial for him to settle in Alpha quickly, take charge. Alfa Romeo is giving him the platform that he desperately needs to prove himself. Now all that is left to see is if he grabs this opportunity or fumbles. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.